In tonight's Health Watch, an alarming new report about mistakes in diagnosing breast cancer in its earliest stages. Mary joins us now with more on this. Mary? Well, Denise, a New York Times review of hundreds of cases shows a breast cancer diagnosis can be very wrong at times. Digital imaging and other advancements in technology means pathologists are now diagnosing breast cancer by analyzing smaller and smaller lesions. And when it comes to a common type of breast cancer known as DCIS, the New York Times review found it's being misdiagnosed 17% of the time. Many times you'll see two pathologists say, yes, it's DCIS, two pathologists say it isn't. So sometimes the, the line can be very fine. Dr. Michael Schultz is the director of the Breast Center at St. Joseph Medical Center. DCIS can be something that's over-treated and over-called. I think there's no question about it. Dr. Schultz says they avoid misdiagnosing <laughs> breast cancer through a unique approach that involves presenting a woman's case before a group of 30-some doctors, nurses, techs, and patient advocates. The largest focus of invasive tumor was only three millimeters. Each and every patient at this center, before a knife is lifted, is presented to the multidisciplinary conference and everybody has to sign off on it. 47-year-old Yvonne Kelly of Owens Mills told me she was ready to have surgery the week after she was diagnosed with stage 1 breast cancer back in November. But the team approach at St. Joseph Medical Center slowed her thinking down as the right treatment decisions were made over three months. There were many things that Dr. Schultz wanted me to go through so we knew exactly what we were dealing with prior to surgery. And with this new report out today, doctors say the best thing a woman can do when faced with a breast cancer diagnosis is get a second opinion and in some cases a third or go to a hospital with a certified breast center where they focus just on that. Denise, back to you. All right. Thank you, Mary.